This is the scenario Berlin mod. It's 1945, the full might of the Soviet army is knocking in our doors, the German people are tired of war and we are truly scraping the bottom of the barrel for manpower. Elderly and young have to be conscripted, our weapon stockpiles are beyond empty and there is only one man that can drag us out of this mess. So, uh, as for us, uh, we are playing the Funny Mustache Man and the Soviet Union is over here. We also have the West here and the Allied Expeditionary Force, uh, which at this point we don't really have to worry about. Um, the West here does not have any divisions, so the Allies will just overrun them. We are not at war with the Allies. West Berlin will just fall. Nothing for us to worry about. We just have to worry about... A couple of Soviet divisions. We don't have that many. Apart from that, we also have uh, Endseek Belief. Uh, we can just spend a bunch of PP and move the thing on the left or the right. And on the right we get various modifiers. On the left we get various malices. And uh, also a letter from a certain mustache man, which I assume um, he's gonna say goodbye if this ever reaches zero. <laughs> and it certainly would never do that for me because I'm too much of a good commander. So anyway, oh, it's nice that I don't have to worry about resources. <laughs> Even though it's 1945, I still have 1200 steel. It's so stupid, come on. 15 minutes, 15 minutes of streaming and you're here. The main mechanic in these scenario mods is that there are a ton of bridges that both sides can cross. And by capturing said bridges, all units will be encircled since they can no longer leave. But we'll get to that later. And all of these are free, so I will be a Yu-Gi-Oh player and just click those. How's the airwall looking? Apparently, Good, nothing is happening. It's a bit of a weird thing because I don't really see that much value in a lot of these focus. <laughs> what the fuck, brother? Piss off. I don't really see the value in a lot of those focuses over here. I mean, China's counterattack, we need to render progress for that, so we can't really do it right now. I guess we can get the last panther. That's just one day. Can we go into... Actually, let's just click over there. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a bridge here. Okay, considering there's a bridge here, can also just mess around here, but don't really see us holding anything here right now, so... Ideally, we can just get these two. This guy cannot move right now because it's pinned, but if we just click over here, he can move, so... Neat little trick if you ever need to attack while being attacked. Yeah, may maybe I can find my grandpa somewhere here. Elderly conscripts! What the <laughs> They have pickle home! Minus five org for the militias. One thing that will also help you immensely in this mod is if you actually want to micro. Like if I didn't have an entire front line here, I could just unassign all of these guys, position them here, let a ton of Soviets stream in here and just take that one tile. And then all of the Soviets will be encircled. Just the way Hitler should have done in 1945. Oh, shouldn't have done. Didn't do. Didn't do and shouldn't have done. There we go. I'm gonna cancel myself with this video. What the fuck? That would not be my preferred way to get over there, but sure. And they can still flee. Okay, so it's it's a dual tile here. This one can connect connects to both of these, it looks like. I mean, we can attack from two sides, or we just take that tile. Okay, those infantry are in this tile. I see. No. Okay, I don't see. I do not see at all. Okay, I guess we have our first little Soviet pocket here. Brother, just look at this division. Wait, why is Wilhelmina here? What the fuck is this? It's complicating the front line for no reason. Bro. <laughs> Surely Hitler has not been, didn't have to work with this. There's nothing in those divisions. I do think I'm just gonna go to gun one though. It's kind of pointless if we have the best gun, but only one of our guys have a gun. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm slowly getting back into the groove of uh, Stalingrad. It's just a lot of encircling, baiting out enemies. Okay, now we can do Steiner's counterattack, which we will see what that actually does. And with the wars that is going right now, um, it's gonna do a lot. Yes, it's gonna be Steiner. Steiner's counterattack failed, and uh, now we can also... <laughs> we, we get the funny dialogue. <laughs> All right. We almost won, but now, knowing what happens, um, we can definitely win. Super Bunker, hello. Ah, endlich, Stein. What do you mean we've done this joke before? Fine, then just do the thing. Now we're just gonna try get going on the most shite equipment we have. In this run, I changed my strategy slightly. Instead of making one big front line, I just made various small ones, one for each bridge that the Soviets would attempt to cross. This way our divisions are not reshuffling and losing all of their org, and I can micro them in case we need to reposition troops somewhere. As for down here, I think I'm fine with being a bit sloppy down here. There shouldn't be too much restructuring. I'm actually gonna train that one here in the back. These fronts are somewhat holding. This one is not. But it's also the one that I... That, that, 
Part of the plan. Part of the plan, yes. I mean, actually, we just have to take that tile and keep a couple of divisions here. Ideally, I want to close this, but it's also perfectly fine with just waiting here, getting more and more Soviets in here, and then we can just completely crush them. The actual casualty trading will not matter, but the reducing of Soviet divisions is our main goal here. Another six divisions. Okay. Yeah, they are definitely going to the south, and we're just going to make sure that these guys... Oh, well, hopefully ensure that these guys survive. Fuck this, I'm not going to train this division <laughs> by the time the, this guy is trained the war is over holy shit that's a lot of soviets like <laughs> the casualties we are already doing so much better plus i mean if we get this encirclement down that's also gonna be so much damage but it's getting to a point where it's relatively dangerous to have this they're actually grinding themselves down completely in terms of equipment and all that now as for this bridge oh boy we do have to retake this hub and okay this railroad and this hub and then we have supply again they actually left the front here that's based <laughs> just have to deal so do something about the soviet swarm here like they're not actually a threat it's just they're a nuisance here because they're capturing railroads and all that why is there nobody here brothers what are you doing we can definitely take that one though for a nice little counter encirclement <laughs> it's just that easy oh that's bad the encirclement down here. I am actually gonna try this now. That is easy. There we go. And then let's just get this guy out. And we can get this guy out. Nice. And I'm also gonna retreat with all three in general. Just to make sure that the pocket is a little bit less dangerous. That's actually big now. We can deal so much damage with this one pocket here. But I'm first gonna clean up this pocket. And potentially this one... And in general, the annoying one that we've had for a while. We don't really need any continuous focus on any other focus is not really great either. So um, I guess construction repair it is. Just completely left this front. Bro, we're going to start a counterattack on every single front in a minute. I'm not going to go for a VG encirclement here. We could go for it, but I think this one is fine if we get these. And then we can push to the bridge and then we can get another one like something like here. Get that bridge. They actually left. Okay, that, that's fine. I'm gonna wait a minute here. Because they should shuffle those divisions somewhere else then. Yeah, they are shuffling all of those divisions here because we lost this port here. At the bridge. That is dangerous. We have to clean up this pocket now. Yesterday even. To the north you go. Please. Okay. Um. Just gonna push in here. Nice, we took it. That is a huge amount of Soviets that are stuck here now. If we survive this pocket, we are in a very good spot. Still have 44,000 men and 180 divisions. The main thing I want to secure first, I feel like, is the supply. Like, they are just attritioning here, which right now is fine. So long as they don't attack us from five angles. I'm just gonna make it smaller wherever I can and potentially get a couple of divisions on the way. And for example, here, that should be very easy to breakthrough here let's just shuffle in this one for defensive purposes they are focusing all of their divisions in this breakthrough right now there's nobody here there's nobody here honestly i'm just gonna try and break these guys out i feel like that's the best thing we can do right now that's gonna allow us to have more divisions on the field and everything this is dangerous There's too many fronts. We need to break this one out. They are completely encircled right now and they're probably just gonna get overrun. Because if they take that tile, they can just completely run havoc. Okay. They at least can't die right now. They at least can't be overrun. And we can now send more divisions in here to actually defend this. Oh, it's so nice how the Soviets are suddenly breaking. All the hard work of doing nothing has paid off. This front is pretty secure. I'm actually gonna try and get an encirclement going here as well. That way we could get all of these guys before they flee. It's a bloody battle for Berlin. Since we can't break through here, I instead sent divisions over to the other side of the riverbank so we can cut off their supply lines and encircle all of the Soviets here in the process. Oh my god, we actually got factories with that. And now we just gotta make sure that this front holds because that is also a very big Soviet encirclement. Okay, they technically don't have any supply anymore, but in Hearts of Iron terms, they still have supply. Once we have the additional doctrine, we can probably just auto the rest. 50 divisions in this scenario mode. Oh my god! 100,000 Soviets! Yes! The Soviets have fewer troops than we do! <laughs> It's Jova Stalin. Go back, you fuck. And if you enjoyed the video thus far, please consider subscribing because my grandpa died in Stalingrad.
Oh, actually, the servants down here are up for pushing again. Interesting, interesting. Ah, they see that we are out of manpower, but I counter that with a Volkssturm. Okay, for the first time in this game, I will actually... There we go. We're just gonna alter this. Guys, there's still a small little pocket. You don't need to all group up here. I just wanted these guys encircled, but we can also just go for all of them, I suppose. Take those. And they will flee, but we can just... There we go. Kill them before they can. So if it's up to 1 million, we are to 200,000. South is breaking completely though. But that's fine, that's fine. The rest is holding. In the meantime, we could put a little bit of pressure on in the north, just to make sure that they shuffle a couple of divisions down here again. Honestly, if we get this pocket down here, that is probably, we can probably auto the rest. And speaking of pocket down here, my lord, a nice little food. Another 25 Soviet divisions gone. Yeah, I'm fine with getting another small encirclement here. And then I guess we can get this small encirclement here. Let's just quickly check up with the north again. Wait, where, where's the rest of your divisions? Ah, great. All right, you stop them. I did think we had nine divisions up here on the front already, but I guess not. You know what? Let's just walk in there. There we go. Then there's this bridge. And if we take that one, that is it. Let's just right click there. Oh God, we are so much stronger than the Soviets now. Which also reminds me, we can probably switch to even more different equipment. Uh, not even. Wait, I'm not even producing mechanized, am I? Whoopsie daisy. And I think this is also the sign that we have won. Because if I can make stupid encirclements like that one, where I'm just right-clicking and it works, and I don't even care about sending divisions in as reinforcements anymore. But now it's the fun part, it's just about cleaning up, making this number go bigger. Thank god I checked that. We are doing... Like, no, it is not time to get a letter from someone. 4%, 6%. Oh, fuck. That's a... Why can we only do two? Well, I really hope that is not our, like, that we will just capitulate. Because, come on, we're doing so well. I guess we'll see what the letter contains. I assume it's just a goodbye letter from him, but I don't know if that has any ripple effects for our nation. Steiner did not even attack. We have a focus for it, but we never got enough surrender progress. Ah, Krieg verloren. Uh, the war is lost. That does not sound very promising. <laughs> I have no idea why those arrows are going like this. I guess... Okay, there's rivers here everywhere. 250,000 to 1.5 million. I kind of want to see what happens with the letter, but let's just see if we can win the game before... Ah! Okay, never mind. Dear Commander, it is clear you have betrayed my trust and ignored my every order. Heeding my commands would have saved Germany. By forsaking them, you have doomed us all. And so, I ask myself, how can I be leader in such circumstances? The answer is, I cannot. It is over. The war is lost. Do what you want. Signed. My brother in Christ! The counterattack is coming! Steiner's attack is starting now! I killed 1.5 million Soviets in the defense of Germany! You deserve to be dead! I fear for the morals and integrity of our troops. We must either surrender or continue the fight. The choices you- I mean, that's the two choices we have. Yes. <laughs> we have done it. Oh my god! Am I beating the Soviets before the West Air falls? Probably not, but it's close. The Red Army has fallen. And in theory, we could save the West Air, but um... Okay, apart from not being at war with the allies, um, the allies also don't have any divisions, so it doubly does not matter. I'm currently conquering the world as every single nation in Hoi 4. Also will release next week, but until then you can watch this video where we conquer the world as the Argentinian Pope.